this is our newest generator. It's a 50 kilowatt, underrated at that. And it's very large. It's lar much larger than anything we've shipped previous. It has four inches of 18,000 steel for the laminations, which increases the efficiency dramatically. It uses extraordinarily large magnets. These are uh, very large N52 magnets, and they're four inches long. We're using four inches of, again, that uh, 18,000 steel. This, we also have nine rectifiers on this, 50 amps each. This gives us the ability to deliver 450 amps of current. We normally rate these at about 250, so if you're running 250 amps, you're running about 200 volts. If you can get 250 amps out of it, you're getting 200 volts, you're getting 50 kilowatts. Now the amount of current is dependent on the amount of uh, load you have. You can't just get, you can't get current without some sort of load. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on so that you can see it run. See that? Now we're running about, I'll run her up to about 500 RPM. We're running uh, 118 volts, 535. See, there's no vibration in the generator, there's no heat, there's no cogging, there's no nothing. That little bitty motor is turning this great big generator. This is a great big 10 kilowatt generator. Now, if you want to drive the generator to 50 kilowatts, you're going to have to use a big engine to do it. We only use that little 90 volt or 12 volt uh, DC motor to test it. I want to make that clear. People think that you can run this big generator with that little motor. You cannot do that. You have to have a big engine on this thing to get the power out of it. But it is very capable. I'll show you a little bit of what's going on inside. You see these right here? These are the rectifiers. They each are 50 volts, or uh, 50 amps at 1,000 volts. This is the four inches of, uh, it's 218 layers of 18,000 electrical steel. Now the advantage of that is it reduces the what's called eddy currents within each one of these la laminations and that drives the efficiency up. Not only is this the most powerful generator we've developed, it's also the most efficient because of these, because of these laminations. You can see how it's wired. It's heavily wired. It's given, it has a lot of power available for those who need to use it. We are selling this unit and I want to make it clear that you cannot use that little motor to turn this generator if you want to get the power out of it. People think you can do that. I want to make you very much aware that you cannot do that. This will produce DC power. If you want to get AC, you're going to have to put an inverter on it, but you'll get the most efficient power available and this thing weighs about 150 pounds and it will give you the greatest power and it will last for a lifetime. 